Welcome to the video for valuation of bonds and shares. In this video, we will look at the fundamentals of current yield for bonds. Now as we have seen in the video for yield to maturity, there are three different types of yields for bonds. So the three types of yields are yield to maturity, current yield and yield to call. So in this video we look at current yield. So the current yield provides information regarding the rate of return that a bond will generate in a given year. So let's consider an example. So let's say this is the case of a bond where the interest received by the investor at the end of every year is 100 rupees. And at maturity, the maturity value is let's say 1000 rupees. Now let's say that we are somewhere in between the end of second year and end of third year. That means let's say we are in the third year. Let's say we are here in terms of time. Now at this point in time, let's say the market price of this bond is 985 rupees. That means if anybody wants to purchase this bond today, he will have to pay 985 rupees. So as per the definition of current yield, current yield will give the information regarding rate of return that a bond will generate in a given year. So in one year, let's say in the third year, how much is the return that the investor is getting? It is 100 rupees and the investment is 985 rupees. So basically the current yield in this case will be equal to 100 that is the interest divided by 985 which is the market price or the investment that the investor is making. So this will be equal to 0 0.1015. So in percentage terms this is 10.15%. So in generic terms, we can write the formula for calculating current yield as current yield is equal to the annual interest payment divided by the bonds current price basically the market price. So as you can notice, the current yield does not take account of the capital gain or loss. So basically even though the investor is investing 985 rupees, he is getting back the maturity value of 1000 rupees. So actually he is making a capital gain of 15 rupees. But current yield does not consider that. So basically this method does not provide an accurate measure of the bond's total expected return.